Greetings to everyone who's watching me right about now. I have an amazing word of encouragement for you. Remember that every single day I release these amazing words to encourage you to jumpstart your day. So get connected to this platform. Leave your comments in the comment section. Share this message with someone and you will be a blessing to someone. My brothers and sisters, the word of today is they are getting tired of waiting for an opportunity to fight with you. In other words, you are bigger than that. Your enemies, haters, jealous people, narcissists are getting tired. They have been waiting for that time to fight with you. But they now realize that they are no longer fighting with you. That the one that they are fighting against is God himself. Don't you know that the scripture says that the battle is not yours, but it is the Lord's? For you, you think you are fighting an enemy, but you are never in war. Yes, he's trying to fight you, but he's not fighting you. He's fighting God. And we all know whoever comes against God will not stand. They will be defeated within a blink of an eye. That is how God is powerful. That no one can fight against God and win that battle. The battle is not yours, my brother. That battle is not your sister. I know some of you, on a daily basis, you encounter haters. On a daily basis, you encounter negative comments and words that are projected towards you. Some of you, the haters are within you. What am I saying? The haters that you think are outside or far away, they are within you. They are part of your family. People that you once called family or people that you call family, they are the ones who are fighting against you. I'm not saying to everyone who's watching right now, but to some of you, your enemies could be your families. That is why you see some of you, the moment that you were elevated to another level, the moment that you received that breakthrough or that news, your family hated you. Some of you, the moment that you go to another level, those that you called friends were no longer your friends. They started fighting up against you. They started seeing ways, devising means to see that they fight you, to see that they pull you down. But whatever they do, it will not work. I will give you an example. The ex example, I always love giving this example because this example reminds us of what happens in real life. The example of Joseph and his brothers. These were his real brothers. That Joseph had a dream. In fact, he did not just have a dream. He used to have dreams. And whenever he had dreams, he would, tell the, he would go and tell the dreams to his family. But guess what? Someone would think that his family would celebrate with him. Someone would think that his family would hold a party. But his family hated him for the dreams. Because now his family realized that Joseph was to rule over them. They understood dreams. They had the ability to interpret dreams. That is why they went ahead to sell him off uh, to a foreign land. They first tried to kill him. That did not work. It did not go on well. They decided to sell him off. Some of you, those that you called friends, have tried to kill you on many occasions. They have tried to put poison in your food. It has not worked. In your drinks, it has not worked. They have tried to conspire against you. It is not working. They have tried to put negative reports against you. It is not working. They are trying all means to see that you fall down. Not knowing that in the near future, you are the one going to help them. They will be dependent on you. Joseph's brothers were so blind to the fact that Joseph was a family deliverer. 
They conspired against him, not knowing that in the near future, this Joseph that they rejected, this Joseph that they wanted to kill, would actually save them in times of famine. Some of your fam family or your friends have conspired to kill the dream in you. Some of them have actually uh, tried to talk you out of your goals, of your dreams. Not knowing that that very thing that you say, that very thing that you have, that very dream that you have, it is going to help them. They are just too blind. Yes, some of them have the ability to interpret dreams, but they don't have the ability to see. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. They cannot hear. They have a mind, but they cannot think. But my brothers and sisters, as for you, you have the mind of Christ. Glory to God. And if you have the mind of Christ, no matter what they say to you, some of your enemies have called you crazy. Just because you do something that they do not do, just because you act like they do not act, it doesn't mean that you're, not, that, that you're crazy. You are not crazy if you have the mind of Christ. Even Jesus himself, people called him all sorts of funny names. Nicknames were attached to him. But how did, God, how did Jesus respond to them? How did he respond to them? He responded to them with the word of God. He spoke in parables. My brothers and sisters, when you face a lot of fighters, people fighting actually against you, respond with the word. Because it's the word that is going to fight for you. And the word is Jesus. The word is Jesus. God will fight for you. Your unseen battles. And right now, some of you, God is fighting for you. You may not know it. That bad news that you received, God is dealing with it. That thing that you think is a lack, that thing that you think that is, is, is pain, God is fighting for you. My brothers and sisters, it is the end of this word. Until next time, God bless you.